Hi everyone, I'm Red Herring and this is a personal review of the menstrual cup that's listed in the title. Before I begin, please note my personal measurements and needs in a menstrual cup. This bit of information will help you narrow down what you need in a menstrual cup and please remember that we're all made differently. What might work for me might not work for you and vice versa. If your measurements and needs closely resemble mine, then your experience might be similar to the experience that I had with this menstrual cup. Check out my channel if you're interested in more menstrual cup information, cup versus cup comparisons, or personal reviews. If this video was helpful, please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. I got to use the menstrual cup a few days, or for a few days last week while I was on my period. Actually, I'm still on my period. Um, but I did get to try both the sizes that they offer, the small and the large size. And uh, I did grab for the larger size first because I was on a heavier time during my period and I needed the capacity. When I received this cup, when I first purchased it and received it, um, I noticed that it was a little softer than a lot of my other cups. So in my opinion, this is a soft cup and I knew um, from the beginning that I probably wouldn't be able to use the punch down fold to get it to open just because the back of this cup is soft. Uh, the rim is not as soft. It does have a good firmness to it, so I didn't think that um, I would have any problems with that popping open. It just the rim alone, but having it tucked in with the punch down fold, I didn't know if I was going to be able to pinch the bottom and uh, the silicone down here, giving it enough enough resistance to pop that. Uh, rim out and open. So I just went to an easy fold for me and that uh, is the C or U fold um, and I also knew that I probably wouldn't be able to insert it all of, the, all of the way in before I allowed it to open. So I only inserted it halfway as I do with um, most of the soft cups and then I let that rim popped open and it popped open really easy and I didn't have any problems trying to get it to open with that uh, fold. And then I maneuvered it into place around my cervix and I inserted a finger and used the rim as a support area for uh, my finger to push up onto the cup to get it around my cervix. So after it was in, it was nice and comfortable. I didn't feel it. I did leave uh, both of the stems intact here and it's nice and thin and fairly short so I didn't have any problems feeling it. Um, I also always wipe the the stem and the grip rings uh, with a wet cloth or a baby wipe uh, before or after I insert it so that my the blood that's coating it doesn't pull down to the stem and then stamp onto my underwear. So I didn't have any leaking and I did use it um, from, well, I used it that night and in the morning I had no leaking and then I dumped it out um, in the morning and around 6 o'clock I did have to empty it because I was on a heavier flow. So um, for me this only holds about a half a day, a, a good part of the day. Uh, if I empty it around 8 or 9 in the morning I could last anywhere from 3 to 6 o'clock in the evening before I have to empty it. And it's not that it's to the rim or anything, but I can start feeling those bubbling sensations. Um, and sometimes it feels like it's going to leak, but I know it's just, you know, it's close enough to the top that I do need to empty it. So um, I didn't overflow or leak with it, but I knew that I did have to empty it in the middle of the day. Uh, it was... It was comfortable through the day, it didn't ride high or anything like that, and again, I didn't feel um, the stem. Actually, I take that back. I felt the stem a few times, but it didn't bother me. It wasn't uncomfortable or painful or anything. I just, um, like, I sat down a certain way and I could feel it, and I'll be like, oh, okay, well, shift my body, and, and then I didn't feel it again. So, uh, overall, the cup was very comfortable to have in. Um... I did mention in my unboxing of this cup that the the pamphlet does say that uh, using the cup 
if you have in or having sexual intercourse with the cup inserted might make the cup harder to remove and I, I guess I should have brought that pamphlet here so that I could read it uh, word for word but it, basically that's what it said and they didn't say that you could not have sex with this cup so I was I, I was very um, excited to be able to try it and uh, my husband and I did have some fun with it or not with it but with it inserted um, and it was it was actually one of the cups that I had more feeling with. Um, there was one cup that I used that was a little bit more firm and I lost feeling of certain areas. Like I didn't feel, um, I, I don't know how to describe it, but it was just that I was lacking uh, the sensations in a certain area because that area of my vagina was not getting friction. That's the only thing I can think of. Um, so I did have more feeling with this cup inserted. Um, so that was a bonus for me. And my husband said that he could feel the cup, but it wasn't uncomfortable or painful. It's, it's soft, so it was um, probably pressed up pretty good. Um, and I didn't leak after that and actually I did not have any problems or difficulties removing it. It didn't ride up high and it didn't suction um, more than it did before. So I, I had an easy time for removal after I had sex and I, I was really pleased with the uh, performance of this cup. Um, after my heavier cycle I did swap out to the small and it, it was it was the same I had no problems getting it to open it was comfortable while it was inserted and uh, removal was fine too it didn't ride up high or anything on me and I was able to reach it really easily um, and so I just I really I'm impressed with this cup. Um, usually I can find something that I don't like or something that's uncomfortable about um, cups and this is not one of those cups uh, that I could point out something that I really you know didn't care for. Um, I think the biggest downfall for me or the downside of this cup for me was just the capacity because I had to um, empty it one extra time during the day on my heavy cycle but most of the menstrual cups I do have to um, empty during midday uh, there's only a handful that I can wear for the full day without it um, needing an extra empty uh, but this was a very comfortable cup. It's nice and soft for people that can't uh, handle very firm cups, but the rim has a good firmness for it to pop open, but yet still hopefully not give you so much pressure on your bladder that it would be uncomfortable during the day. Uh, did I say uncomfortable several times? I'm so sorry. But that was my review of the menstrual cup. If you have any additional questions about it, go ahead and leave... Uh, them down below. I will also leave all the information for the menstrual cup in the description um, as well as my other social media if you're interested in contacting me for some reason. Um, they have been really receptive to my emails and Facebook um, messages so if you do have questions directly to them you can contact, the, contact them as well. Um, until I see you next time, take care! If you're interested in more menstrual cup information, cup versus cup comparisons, or personal reviews, please check out my channel, give my videos a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe. Until next time, thanks for watching!